I'm your host, David Shensky, and you're listening to Live Without Limits, Reach Personal Success on a Daily Basis. The purpose of this podcast is to help you with personal development, whether it's the lifestyle you live, whether it's your mental health, whether it's relationships, anything that helps you to live the healthiest and the best quality of life. And it's all about how this says invest in yourself. So today's presentation is titled Nine Powerful Ways to Increase Self-Discipline and Achieve Your Goals. At this time of year, most of us are looking back at what we achieved last year and what we would like to achieve this year. This reflection period helps us understand why we might have failed to reach certain milestones. Personally, one of my drawbacks was lack of self-discipline. My goals were clear, realistic, and achievable, but I was simply unable to be consistent enough to putting in the work. Sometimes I would start and eventually slow down until I gave up. I had fitness goals, signed up for a gym that was very close, and invested in some cute gym wear and equipment, and went to the gym religiously for a few weeks until my discipline ran out, and I simply stopped. I wanted to read and write more, So I bought more books and ended up reading just the first 20 pages of the first book. My notes app is saturated with writing ideas I had. My laptop is loaded with drafts from when I attempted to write but didn't get around to finishing most of the pieces. This is just some examples of the things that I wanted to achieve, but thanks to poor discipline, they are still on my goals list. But this year again, looking back at those unachieved goals, I am not proud of myself, but I know that there are certain things that I need to change if I hope to make things different this year. Achieving self-discipline is one of those things. If you also find yourself in the same boat I'm in, don't beat yourself up. This is a chance to make better decisions and tick more things off your goal list. I hope this presentation will help you understand how you can improve your self-discipline and greater heights. I often was disciplined enough to go and get things done. But as I've gotten older, I found that my discipline has sort of waned a little bit and I'm trying to get back into it. So here are some nine effective ways to have more self-discipline. Remove temptations. Sometimes we fail to do what we want to do simply because there are too many temptations around. When you can remove those, you can want to slow down on the unhealthy snacking. Avoid buying unhealthy snacks entirely. Have a clear why. And this is something that I talk about even in my my e-learning course, Personal Success on a Daily Basis. Or rather, it's I have a challenge that's called Seven Ways to Achieve Personal Success on a Daily Basis. And it's also an e-book and an e-learning course. The e-learning course sits on my website, Ask davidashinsky.com, which is a membership site. 
have a clear why. When you understand exactly why you need to get something done, you are more likely to pursue it. Look at the bigger picture and always remember why you need to do things a certain way. Have a plan B. Sometimes things simply don't go our way, but that should not be the end of the world. Think of an alternative option that will still allow you to reach your desired goal. Start small. <coughs> Let me drink some water so we can do this right. Start small. When you think of what you want to achieve, it might seem like a huge mountain that you need to climb. Remind yourself that you do not have to accomplish everything in one go. Start small and work your way to the top. Have a detailed plan. Rather than planning to write a book, break it down. Plan on when you will accomplish the smaller parts or the bigger goal. These will be easier to accomplish while working towards the bigger and desired goal. Realize your potential. When you believe that you can achieve something, it is easier to achieve it rather than when you think about it. Forgive yourself. Yesterday or last year, you were unable to do what you wanted to do. Yes. That can hurt, but you need to learn to forgive yourself and allow yourself to move on. Do not let mistakes from your past get in the way of you achieving your goals. Try time blocking. My personal favorite is the Promodoro technique where you focus on 25 minutes, then take a five minute break. After four sessions, you then take a longer 20 minute break. This gives you enough time to get things done, but without exhausting you. Have an accountability partner. This could be your friend, colleague, or partner. Open up and tell them what you need to achieve. You need to be in a position to hold yourself accountable and ensure that you remain disciplined. Are you ready to do what it takes to achieve your goals? When you find it challenging to achieve your goals, don't think of canceling them or having them out of your life. Rather, focus on improving your strategy. Think of a way that would allow you to reach your destination more effectively. This new way might be improving your sleep routine, changing the people you interact with, or simply improving how you communicate with yourself. Making changes is not always easy, but sometimes it is exactly what you need. Once you find what works, the next step is to be consistent. And that can be achieved when we have self-discipline. It starts with the little things. So rather than starting your day by snoozing your five alarms, which you set 10 minutes apart, consider jumping out of bed when the first one goes off. By the time you finish brushing your teeth and are ready to kickstart the day, you would have forgotten that at some point you had the urge to sleep just five more minutes. This is also set 
the pace for the day and you are likely to take on everything that comes your way by the horns. But self-discipline is not achieved overnight. It takes time, patience, and kindness. Take one day at a time. And if you fail today, try again tomorrow. And don't give up. We talk about SMART goals. And why do we talk about SMART goals? Well, that's because they're specific, they're measurable, they're achievable, they're refined, and they're time stamped. And this allows you to work towards a goal and breaking them down into smaller chunks also helps you feel success along the way when setting goals.